Hi everyone, this is Kenneth Wong, a Burmese American blogger and author. I also teach beginning and intermediate Burmese at UC Berkeley. Back in my homeland, people are fighting against a ruthless military junta. The protest began on February 1st, when the army staged a coup d'etat and detained the civilian leaders. I stand in solidarity with the protesters who, in spite of the army's use of live ammunition and sniper fire to put them down, continue to stream onto the streets. To honor their sacrifice and courage, in today's lesson, I'll break down some of their common protest chants so you understand what they are saying. Let's start with the most common one. The phrase do ye is literally our cause or our goal, made up of the word do for our and ye for cause or goal. Usually, protest chants come in call and response, so the leader in this group, who is a bit hard to hear because he is far away, is saying, democracy yashi ye. Democracy is the Burmanized version of democracy. Yashi ye is the noun form of the verb yashi de to receive or to obtain something. For example, Aung Bue Yashide is to receive victory. Gong Du Yashide is to receive a distinction in a specific subject in an exam. So, democracy Yashi Ye is obtaining democracy, the noun form. The leader of the group also shouts, Se Ana Xin Jia Song Ye. Se Ana Xin is military dictator, a compound with the word se for war or military and anashin for dictator. Jia song ye is the noun form of the verb jia song de, to be defeated, to die, to come to an end, to fail, to fall. Se anashin jia song ye is the defeat, the fall, or the end of the military dictators. So this call and response routine goes like this. The leader shouts, obtaining democracy, and the group responds, that's our cause, that's our goal. And then the leader shouts, the fall of military dictators, and the group responds, that's our cause, that's our goal. In more natural English, the common group response, do ye, might be thought of as, that's what we are fighting for. Now let's listen to this one. Do pidude is the combination of do for we and pidude, the people. This is the Burmese version of we the people. Nire, one more time, nire is a verb that has no equivalent in English. It means a group is of the same mind, the same spirit, in lockstep, all heading in the same direction with the same objective. The closest might be united. Nire la he is the same verb formulated as a question. So it means, are you all united? Are you all in lockstep? The final word, hey, is an exclamation. So it's not just a simple yes-no question, but a highly charged rallying cry, as if to say, tell me, all of you, are we the people united? And the group response is, ni de hey, ni de hey. The affirmative answer, yes, we are, yes, we are. Panzide is the verb to catch or to detain. Panzitade makes it an adjective clause, modifying the noun that comes after. What follows is do gangzang de. That's a combination of do for our and gangzang de, leaders. This is a reference to State Councillor Aung San Suu Kyi, President Wimyet, and other civilian leaders detained by the military. Panzitade do gangzang de. The leaders that are detained is the protesters' call, and the group response was Chechen Hlu, Chechen Hlu. Chechen is the adverb phrase that means immediately or right away. For example, Chechen Thwa, go right away. Chechen Pe, answer right away. Hlu is to release, to free somebody from bondage or captivity. So Chechen Hlu is a command, release them or free them right away. The pronunciation hlu is important. 
you have to use the breathy h l o o k not look. One more time, it's h l o o k not look. The difference is h l o o k is the verb to release. Without the breathy h u l o o k is to be free, to be liberated. With c h e c h i n h l o o k the command form, the people are asking the junta to release the detained leaders immediately. You cannot use l o o k the other verb here, because you cannot ask the civilian leaders to free themselves or walk out of confinement on their own. I wish that were the case, but it is not. This is part of a song that protesters tend to sing at their gathering. Naru ya t a m a i n g tekeko, naru tui ne yegedi, tui te sale pugebi. The first part, naru ya t a m a i n g teke, that means naru for our and t a m a i n g teke, one more chapter in history, making it one more chapter of our history. Then comes the verb, the action of the sentence, naru tui ne yegedi, with our blood we wrote, naru tui ne yegedi. With our blood, we wrote. Taken all together, this line means we wrote a new chapter in history with our own blood. This sounds like hyperbole, but it's not. To date, nearly 300 people have died since the army began its crackdown of the protest. The next part goes like this Thwe te sa le pugebi. Thwe te sa le pugebi. Thwe te sa. Is the combination of the word tui for blood and thisa for pledge or promise. The main verb is what follows. Pugabi, have made or have performed. Taken together, tui thisa le pugabi means we have made a blood oath or promise to carry on, even if it means to die together. Now listen to how these protest chants usually end. A y e r o b o a u n y a m i This call and response usually repeat three times, like the hip hip hooray. Never once, always three times. A y e r o b o is literally great affair or great undertaking. Let's look at this word in other contexts. In the title of this book, Myma Memya A y e r o b o Myma Memya A y e r o b o It means the affairs of the Burmese kings. With a part, a y e r o b o n g summing up all the affairs, courtly intrigues, and socio political accomplishments of these kings. But over time, the phrase starts to mean revolution or uprising. In this title, Tong Thong Ya Bi A y e r o b o n g Azani Sakwana U, it refers to the 17 martyrs from the anti colonial uprising of 1938. Azani is martyrs, people who died for a cause. This is not to be confused with Ana Shin, which means dictators. So, one more time Azani, martyrs. Ana Shin, dictators. Those who know something about Burmese numerics might be asking wait, wait, it shows the Burmese number 1300. Why are you saying 1938? Well, it's because Burmese lunar calendar. Has its own way of reckoning years. So the year 1938 in the modern calendar is actually the Burmese year 1300. Here in this headline about 88 uprising, it refers to the event as Shisa Shi, a y e r o b o the 88 revolution or the 88 uprising. Now, back to this call and response. Aung Yami is the verb Aung, to win or succeed in the must form. That means it must succeed, it has to succeed. This call and response means the revolution must succeed. Call it a declaration of faith, call it conviction, that's what the protesters are saying. So let me show my solidarity to them by ending this lesson in the same way. A y e r o b o aung yami. A y e r o b o aung yami. A y e r o b o aung yami. The revolution must succeed. Thanks for watching. I'm Kenneth Wong. Until next time, whether you're struggling to overcome Burmese language problems or defeat a terrible dictator, keep fighting.